And so next, let's see, ORD workspace CFG order. So I wanted to explain the different order and how each configuration is loaded. So the, this is how they're loaded from top to bottom. So configuration setup gets read first and the work set is loaded last. So I wanted to take a peek at all of them. So I'm going to go back to the, that location. So that's C drive program data, Bentley, OpenRed's designer, configuration. So next is it's this configuration setup CFG. So let's open it up and see what it does. So this configuration, this is going to define the root location. So there's really not much that it does other than define the root location. If you want the location of your configuration to be um, in a different location from where we provide, so the default location right here with this variable, use station custom configuration is where you would point to that um, folder path that would contain it. Um, so it's pointing to the default location that's pointing to this configuration folder. So it reads this configuration setup.cfg. So the next thing it's going to do is it's going to open this workspace setup.cfg. So this was right here. So let's open it up and see what's happening inside of here. So this is going to define the root location of your workspace, your organization, and your work set level. So you can have the root locations of all three of these in different locations from the default location. Um, and so if you want to do that, you see this my civil organization root. Right now it's commented out. You can just remove um, the hashtag right there and then you can point it to the folder name. Um, so that's, see, you can see the title block, that's for the organization. You're able to do that for the workspace and the work set as well. Um, so this sets the root, the root locations of the folders for your workspace. Don't save that. And then next is the standards.cfg. That's within this organization folder. And this loads a lot of the platform type standards that you'll see. Um, and that one is what is loaded as next. So you can see a lot of these MS underbar um, variables right here that are defined in that one. And so next you would assume that the organization is what loads next. Well, no, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, the next one to load is the workspace CFG. So I'll go through and show how open roads loads the organization level. So I'm going to open the workspace CFG. So I'm demonstrating this with this Imperial standards. So I'll double click and expand it. And you can see that the very first variable right here, civil organization name. So within the workspace configuration, it tells you which organization to load under. So it says, okay, I'm a workspace and I want to load under this organization. So that is being defined within the workspace CFG. So you can see that this specific workspace, it says I want to be opened in this civil default standards imperial organization. And so it'll stop right here and go in and open the organization level before it continues on through the CFG. So then the next one, they, they sort of work in interchangeably is going to be that organization CFG. So then it'll go into this organization civil folder, open the CFG. It'll work through this entire CFG. And this is going to define all the variables that are going to load the standards at the organization level. And then it will come back to the workspace CFG and continue down and um, work through the variables that define all of the standards that are set at the workspace level. And then finally is the workset CFG. So if I come in here, the imperial standards, the root location are gonna be right here. And you can see that this matches the name of the workset. 
And this is where you, you can define any of the standards that are related to the work set. Yeah, so that's the order to know. And that could be helpful if you're trying to define variables and say something's getting overridden and you're getting confused. It can be helpful to understand um, the location of that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.